Hey, I'm Paul Blaze from Blackguard, and you're watching Brutally Delicious with Bruce Moore. Welcome to Brutally Delicious. I'm Bruce Moore. Today we've got a great show in store for you. We're going to go all the way to Texas and speak with Billy Blair from Love Stricken Demise. We'll see what he's got cooked up for us today. Hey, welcome, Billy. I see you've got some guests with you today. How you doing, girl? Hi, I'm Billy Blair from Love Stricken Demise. Welcome to Brutally Delicious. And I have my brutally delicious friends, Lynn and Veronica. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. So, go ahead. Okay. Now that your new disc, Psycho Trip, has been released, how do you feel about it, and are you satisfied with the outcome? Oh, yeah. I mean, we're excited. It came out through uh, Down Boys Records, and it's like, you know, it's like finally done, even though it's an EP. Uh, and it's doing really good in the, uh, the review world. Actually, every single one has been like a five-star review, minus maybe one or two, but it wasn't so bad. But yeah. Totally, totally satisfied. How does it make you feel when the energy and the passion you envisioned in the studio comes to life in front of a live crowd on stage? Well, I have to say, I mean, to have that fire still burning, that's why we stay in the business. Uh, I still get that goosebump feeling when we play live, when that comes to life, especially during a, 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 like the bridge change or whatever. Um, yeah, still, it still has that feeling inside, you know, and uh, I don't know, it, you, you gotta have it uh, burning still alive it's inside your stomach. What's your writing process like? You guys all write together? I write the music and melody, and Nikki and I write the lyrics. That's how, so far it's been, but I've, I've had all this, uh, music built up inside years ago where I, it was just me sole proprietor just uh, writing the whole thing but uh, I'm not opposed to anybody you know in the band bringing in their ideas but right now it's just me and Mickey Ryan. What's the meaning behind the name of the band Love Stricken Demise? Um, Lynn, can you move to Veronica's son? And Veronica, can you move to Lynn's I don't really feel like we've done it. I'll do anything you want me to do, Billy. Oh, that's why you're on there. You're my favorite one. No offense. But None you're, taken. But you're up there. Um, what was that? What's the meaning behind the name of the band, Love Stricken Demise? I wanted to use initials that were already established. Kind of like STP did with Stone Temple Pilots. It was, uh, you know, they just made up the name for the S and the T and the P. I want to do that with LSD. So we had, I, love was in there immediately. Uh, the S was a toss up of like sick and some other ones. And then D was like, Demise was there. Something else, I can't remember. But Nikki called me up one time and said, hey, are we still doing this? Are we still doing this love stricken demise? And I, there it is. And we stuck with love stricken demise. Where do you draw your inspiration from, Billy? What subject do you tap over the lyrics? Um, hold on, I'm, I'm caught off guard here with their with their smell. What are you what are you guys wearing? I'm actually wearing some cotton candy um, perfume. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. I love that. Um, sexy little things. Oh, that's so sexy. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. What was that? Uh, what was the question again? Where do you draw your inspiration from, Billy? What subject do you tap over the lyrics? Oh. Well, th well, that one's a tough one because Nikki has to sing, uh, I guess, whatever feels right for her. So I, I will come in with a subject and my own way of writing the lyrics. And if, you know, if it, you know, I, I totally understand when the singer has to sing something that they relate to and feel comfortable. So if it doesn't match up to whatever she's feeling, you know, I say, okay, go ahead and, you know, what would you, what would you feel in that area? And she would, you know, put in her two cents. And, you know, 
it comes uh, with what you hear in the EP. And then, of course, on the mu musically, I bring in my my influences, you know, and you, I'm sure you can hear it. But, uh, you know, it's multiple of whether it's hard rock, pop, and I love combining those disco. We even, you just put it in a bowl, mix it up, and it becomes, you know, whatever you, uh, whatever you come up with. If you had not become a musician, what other career path would you have liked to attempt? Ooh. How about a doctor? I could be a nurse. Oh, I would love that, but no. What about a photographer? Then I could be your model. Oh, I would have loved that, but no. It would have been kind of what I'm doing now, an actor. So we can, I can act like a doctor, and I can act like a photographer. So I can still be a nurse. And you can still be a model. This works. It totally works. It's a win-win situation. Do you consider yourself a foodie of sorts, or do you kind of play around? Foodie? Well, yeah, I mean, we all get the munchies. Um, I, I like to experiment sometimes. Um, I, I think that was like back when I used to smoke, maybe. That's when you mix peanut butter with tuna. Oh, when you become creative. That's when you become creative, right? But I'm also uh, a fan of where you just get the cookbook, open it to a desirable page, and then you just put your finger and go, I'm making that tonight. So, you know, um, yeah, I think I'm a foodie. What's next for Love Strip in the Mind? <clears throat> right now, we're finishing up a video. Um, it's taking forever. It's in the, it's, it's in the works. Um, doing some more touring um, and more writing, more recording. And, you know, just kind of take it to the next level. And um, hopefully by the end of the year, you'll hear more music, a full length LP, uh, who knows? You know, my friends here will be in the next video as well, you know? I don't know. It's exciting, I don't have a crystal ball. But we're in that, that direction. So, I guess that concludes. Bruce, we'll see you at my house for my special gourmet. See you there. Bye. Hi Bruce. Welcome to Casa de Blair. Well, let's come back to the kitchen. Hey Bruce. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to my love shack. Where all the magic is done in the kitchen. Unfortunately. But you're here at the right time because we're ready to cook up my specialty uh, breakfast enchiladas, which I call Enchiladas AM. And here, as, you, as you remember, I got my, my lovely ladies, Lynn and Veronica. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Um, first, uh, I guess we can um, tell you what all is going to be made first. And that's the important part, and that's the meat. So, um, since it's a breakfast enchiladas, um, I put together some uh, lean turkey uh, meat, and I'm going to add on some chorizo. And when you when you put this together, you don't have to put any kind of I mean I don't, but any kind of seasoning because the chorizo does the flavor for you. So we'll start on that right now. Um, Okay, so we are going to get the meat and we're going to pour it in this um, bowl here, just like that. I'll get that mushed up and I'm going to put chorizo in the meat. Squeeze all of this out, just like that. Veronica, please. 
Yes. What? Thank you very much. And should I say you look lovely today? Thank you. You're welcome. You too, Thank you. All right. So, <laughs> here we go. Get the meat and mix it up together, okay? Uh, and it's up to you. I mean, you know, I'm not, not no chef, boy RD kind of guy. <laughs> but you can throw, you know, lime and stuff like that in there, which I forgot to get. Shame on me. You should have told me to get lime. And you too. Two assistants and we failed. It's okay. I will punish you later. Look forward to it. Okay. So, <clears throat> we're going to mush it up. And like I said, chorizo, the flavor of that is going to give it the, the flavor. I mean, when you take a bite of it, it's just delicious. And where I got this from, well, I went to a local restaurant and, you know, they had something similar and I kind of figured it out, I was like, hmm, you know, it's got a little bit of chorizo, it's got some meat, some enchiladas, I bet you I know what they made. And that was just a guess. So I don't know their special ingredients, but it's pretty close. And this is really simple. You could just, you know, it's this. The tortillas and sauce, as you see I got here. I got some cheese. And then we're going to put sides of crack a couple of eggs and some refried beans. It's going to be great. That looks mixed well enough, doesn't it, girls? Pretty good. Okay. It's ready. So, we will proceed in cooking the meat. Did you want to help us on that? Yes. Okay. Here I have the olive oil spray. Okay. It's, you could just, you know, get any kind of olive oil. I, I use that. Spray all over the can, uh, pan there. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Veronica. And doesn't she look lovely? Yeah, she does. All right. So I got a spatula, which we use for other <laughs> things too. <laughs> go over there. But um, I'll let Veronica go ahead and put the meat in there. We'll cook that up. Thank you very much. So Veronica here got her meat prepped up and it's all ready to go. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get this pan, cooking pan, and I'm gonna get our olive oil. And we're gonna spray it up. Because we don't want no sticky enchiladas. But we want Thinking enchiladas. <laughs> so, what I do is I dip it in the sauce, enchilada sauce here, and you could, you know, go to the store, get a, you know, the brand store name, any kind of enchiladas, whatever you prefer. I got the cheap stuff because, you know, I'm on a budget. So, put one layer, right? Thank you, Lynn. Now, did I say you look marvelous? You have not. She looks marvelous. <laughs> and so do you, Veronica. Thank you. And thank you for wearing the, the love stick in my shoes. Yeah, right. give them a little, give them a applause. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> we're gonna put another layer. Right. And I'm gonna feed the whole crew here. So we have five of us. Mm -hmm. Dip in this, we get another layer, right? Let's, let's make it where it's kind of like a five. Mm -hmm. got this one, okay? And let's just throw one more. That's it. Perfect. That's good. Mm -hmm. This should have made a longer pan. Okay, so, you know, it's not a nice pan. It's rusty looking, but it's rock and roll. 
because this is rock and roll. This is brutally delicious. Um, now, we got the bottom part, and it's got the sauce that we're dipped in because we want that flavor in the bottom. So we're going to get the, the meat here, and I'm going to get this, and we're just going to kind of like, you know, spread it out. Tasty uh, ingredients in, and that's we'll put. Uh, you want to put cheese in it, and I think this way, since it's, the meat is hot, it'll melt, start immediately melting. So you get cheese, just like that. And let that start melting. It's good enough like that. Okay. Let's spread it out. Mm, lovely. Okay, so now we get onions. You know, we gotta have some onions. You ladies like onions? Of course. Of course. Yeah. You guys allergic to onions? Yeah. What about you? You all right? Okay. Good camera guy. Bruce, you're not allergic to onions. Okay. I'm gonna put that in there. Is it that flavor? That kick. That kick, exactly. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. I got a lot here, but maybe we could just use a little. We want too much. It looks perfect. Is that perfect? If Lynn says it's perfect, it's perfect. <laughs> okay. So that's pretty much it on that side. So what I'm going to do now, I mean, like I said, it's so simple. That's all I put inside. Then we're going to layer it. And what I do is I'll dip it again. Oh, wait a minute. Are you pardon? Okay. What I need to do is pour a little in the inside. Because that enchilada sauce just really does it well. Just do it like that. Just a little bit. Okay. Then we start putting the other layer. Just like that. And man, I'm telling you, man, when you guys take a bite of this, it's insane. Now I'm already hearing the stomach growling. <laughs> okay, so let's put the cheese on top. So we need more cheese. And yes, I know I suck at this. <laughs> I'm a rock and roller, I'm not a chef. Okay, so add more cheese, and I think we'll put like the remainder of the cheese in there. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah, you should. I think since the ch my show's already cheesy. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so um, put the rest of that in there. We got that open going, right? Yes, 350. 350. You set it on 350. And what we'll do, girls. Would you have the pleasure if we could open up the oven? You guys got that? We're going to stick it right in there. Just like that. Go straight ahead. Want it like that? If you say so. Okay. Stick it in there. And we're going to cook it for a good, what do we say? 15 minutes? Yes. Okay. And we'll come back and you will have some enchilada AM, a set of crack eggs, and three fried beans. Thanks. All right, now that we have, while we're waiting for uh, the enchiladas to uh, finish baking in the, my little oven here, I got Lynn here stirring up our refried beans that we're gonna use for our side. And here she is. Darling, can you, can you stir it just harder, harder, harder? Yeah, motion. Look at her go. Wow. 
I'm getting excited. Um, yeah, there you go. So she's gonna get refried beans all set up. We got six minutes, five minutes on the clock, and I got my my lovely companion here, uh, uh, Veronica. That will prep us up with the eggs. Can we get back to you? Now we're gonna crack some eggs and put them in this pan here. And lovely Veronica, right here, she will crack the eggs for you. All right, that's one egg. Okay, I'll do that for you. All right, cool. If you want to just put them all, okay. all together, let's make it rock and roll. <laughs> we'll somehow divide them up for you. Even. It's an egg menage, that's all. <laughs> I purposely wanted that. <laughs> we got the eggs going, we flipped them over. Uh, over easy is what we wanted. We got the refried beans. Enchiladas are ready, so ladies, let's open that up. And please be extra careful. Go ahead and put that right there. Yeah, kind of hard eggs. You got that? There we go. Cool. Like that. And she, you get a spatula, you kind of cut in there, just like that. And you can scoop it up. Bam! Got that there, right? Get an Oh, we want to get an egg? Get that. Put an egg on the side. Can we get the refry beans, right? Put on the side. And you bring it in here and you doll it up. I mean, why not? I mean, we have that, so let's go, let's have a little bit of uh, good stuff like um, avocados. We'll put some avocados on the side, make it nice and pretty. You know, if you're an artist, I'm sure you can, you know, decorate, make butterflies or dragonflies or anything. You put it on the side there, and you get some tomato. You throw that on the side. Where are we going to put it? Kind of like that. And then, <clears throat> got some hot sauce. And we're going to put some on the refried beans. Just to, just to spice it up a little bit. You like it hot, don't you, Billy? Baby, I love it hot. Ah. <laughs> Anyways. Sour cream is the finale. Sour cream, ladies. We you do. know you like the sour cream. cream. We do like sour cream. So, you just get that, put it on your enchiladas, put some on your food fried beans. Just like that, right? Perfection. Okay. And that's how it is. So, breakfast enchiladas. Enchiladas AM. The eggs. On the side, with the refried beans, doll it up any way you want. Now, let's go to our table and have a chow down. I'm here with Veronica and Lynn, and I got that right this time. Yeah. Don't they look lovely? Thank you for showing up. Uh, we got our enchilada AM with our sides. We got our drinks. They got a couple beers. I got my special wine. And we're going to top it off with a special finale of uh, tequila. Uh, Why not? It's appropriate for enchiladas. Yeah. And for the morning. And for the morning. A.M. That's for you, dear. Thank you. And that's for you. Thank you. Oh, Dre. Should I put it over here? Alright. We're going to have a toast. Here's to a lovely day, no harm done, and it's all about the food, right? All about the food, all about the day. And the sex. And so, can't forget about that. Cheers, ladies. Okay. Let's dig in. Mmm. Billy loves the chorizo. But you like my sour cream even more. That's how we do. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm going now. Make some uh, breakfast into us. Into our day.
I'm Billy Blair, Blair Chicken Nuts. Ciao. Oh, and uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. If you do, take some pull <laughs>